Hey guys, Anthony of the Rag Company. Joining me today, Mr. Levi Gates. Hello, hello. For a detailing uncut. Now, a lot of people have requested more O&R washes, so we're giving you that today, but we're doing an O&R head to head. Head to head. Levi Gates, master of shine. Detail of 25 years. That's right. Versus me. A detailing enthusiast, a hobbyist, a weekend warrior. Yeah, but 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 a true professional still. I, I appreciate that, Levi. Thank you. But we want to show people, right, the time difference between an O and R wash on something big and filthy versus something small and lightly dusty. Yeah, it's not a race. It's not it is a race. Oh. It's absolutely a race. Because the thing is, the producer said, you guys, in the scenario, right. have a car show. Okay. 30 minutes. Okay. That's you guys are leaving. You don't have time for a full wash. Okay. Your cars are slightly too dirty for a quick detail. Okay. You have to do a rinseless wash, but you have to get these cars cleaned up, show sprayed. You want these things looking good, wheels wiped out, wheels cleaned. What about wheel wells? Not wheel wells. Okay, well, that's right? good. We're going to draw the line right. there because we're going to assume that it's midday and that the sunlight is casting a shadow. We won't see that okay. stuff, right? But we want to see the time difference, right? So to kind of level the playing field, because at this point in time, it's a little uneven. Right. You have a big, dirty Suburban. It's covered in sap and pollen. And it's mud. covered in sap, pollen, mud, and who knows what else, Maybe right? In your child's fingerprints, right? right? Yes. My car is a small hybrid car, two door, right? Yeah. Hatchback that has some light dust, a little bit of pollen on it, nothing too crazy. But I want to show the difference. So how this is going to work is, you're gonna get the big guy. Okay, I like that. You're gonna get the super IK this sprayer. The Valhalla mode. The Valhalla mode o &R sprayer, mm -hmm. right, that's gonna lay down a lot of product. That's right. And I'm going to get the Multi Pro 2. Oh, it's fitting, because it's a smaller car. It's fitting, it's a smaller car. The thing is, I'm gonna be pumping a lot more. I'm not gonna get as much surface coverage, right? Yeah. And you're gonna be able to pretty much douse that thing in one go. I hope so. So, with that said, I'm gonna be using the chenille wash mint. I got some ultra black sponges in here. Ooh, very nice. Yeah. And then for my drying towel of choice, I'm going with the liquidator in the 20 by 24 size. I'm doing the big size gauntlet. Ooh, okay. Yeah. All right, I see what you did there. And then there. our show spray, I'm gonna be using Dream Maker okay. online. I'm gonna be using Steranogloss Silke. So I think this is a, I think it's pretty even, right? 25 years of experience, right. you're an O&R master. I would consider myself an O&R master as well, but I mean, the thing is, you're Mr. Efficient. What if we switched places and I washed your car and you washed mine? I'm not gonna do that. Oh. Nope, not, nope, nope. Right when, the shot, right? right when you told me about the pollen, I was like, I'm not gonna do that, <laughs> man. That sounds like a sticky mess. So needless to say, I'm really happy with how I'm starting out. <laughs> so um, enough talking, we're gonna jump straight into this. Detailing on cut is no cuts, no gimmicks, no nothing. You're just gonna see us work in the process. We're probably gonna be giving each other crap. We're gonna joke around. We're gonna have fun. Yeah. You ready to get started? Time. This is how we do it. Okay. Are we gonna start Three, the clock? Three, two, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Go! No, Go. no so um, can we get somebody back there to tell us, cause we don't wanna, it's not a race, but we wanna show people some quickness, right? Yeah. So does someone, who wants to give us our sound off? Is there a buzzer? That's it, let's go. Let's in like go. the quietest go. voice. All right, let's do this. Ugh. All right, I'm starting from the top. Who's ready to watch I'm this I'm doing my pre-spray first. Get my O&R on. Now, Levi, are you doing a panel at a time or are you doing the full thing? I'm getting the whole truck wet. I'm also getting my entire car wet. Now, when I typically do this at home, I'll use a bigger sprayer just because it saves more time. The multi-sprayer is kind of limiting because at this point in time, I'm spraying, but I'm, I'm getting decent coverage, but I have to pump again. So Levi's mode, that's probably something worth seeing right there because he's just really laying it on. Now we're using O&R at what dilution ratio, Levi? Uh, 256 to one. The standard. Yeah. Now my biggest hangups are probably going to be, I don't know. Your probably, process? My process? Yeah, the way you're going to be washing it. You don't want to make, you don't want to scratch that. Where mine's a vinyl wrap that's supposed to be coming off in the near future. <laughs> so, so I'm not you don't all that worried. So you don't care. You're I just going to go in. Well, the good news is that O&R doesn't scratch. So even Levi's extremely contaminated car is going to work out. Now, I'm using one bucket. Levi's using one bucket. We both have grit guards in there. Do you feel confident in your one bucket method, Levi? Oh, yeah. I've been using O&R for the better part of a decade now, 
and uh, it's the easiest thing in the world to use. It really is. And it is. doesn't hurt your paint. Your paint you actually likes it. You don't have to worry about it. scratching. Now, honestly, my biggest hang up is probably gonna be my, um, sometimes my inefficient techniques, right? So what I'll do is I'll might walk around a car too many times, I won't bring my bucket with me. I'll do things that, I'll have too many trips, right? That's my problem. Whereas Levi is a little bit better at that than me. He knows that kind of stuff. Whereas me, I'm more relaxed. I like doing this in my garage, you know, crack open a Modelo, right? You know, turn on some music, some tunes. What do you like to listen to, Levi, when you're watching with O&R? Uh, audio books. Audio books. Okay, all right, that's kind of, that's, that's a little bit more mild than I was expecting. <laughs> but don't you listen to like War Druna? Don't you listen to some Viking Sometimes, stuff? But not when I'm washing. So, how much, oh, you have a ton of product left. You're still going. I'm I have to still refill. still going. I gotta refill. So I'm actually gonna use my bucket here because we pre-diluted everything in here. So I'm filling from my bucket. This is also going to add to my time. Okay. All right, so I think I've gotten every, nope, I haven't gotten the back of the car. And my front bumper is kind of spotty. Something like that, sure. Yeah, that's fine. Come down here. Now the pre-spray, in my opinion, always necessary with o and R. I'm I'm a big fan of pre-spraying pretty much anything in life, right? Whatever that means. Oh, you're already washing? Yeah. What the heck? Okay, I'm ready to start washing. I'm gonna bring my bucket with me. Grab my chenille mitt here in red. Give it a squeeze, get it to the point to where it's on the verge of dripping. Take that. Now this is a gloss black wrap that does scratch pretty easily. And so I do feel confident in O&R's ability to clean this up without causing any damage. Taking my mitt here, back in my O&R. Now we're using the new formula of O&R, which is slicker. It makes Sl it a lot easier. It is slicker, yeah. It was, a, it was, it's an improvement over the previous version. Some people didn't want any really added slickness. I don't mind it. I don't think it affects anything from interior cleaning to exterior cleaning. But I know that that was some of the biggest complaints of the previous formula is everybody's comparing it to all the other rinselesses, the non-superior rinselesses, and saying, oh, this feels slicker. This feels like it's better. I'm like, guys, trust us. O&R is still the king, man. It's hard to beat. How far are you? I'm on the other side. Ah, oh, crap. I still haven't done my roof, though. Okay. Now I'm doing multiple dips because I'm always... Have you got all that pollen on your car? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I don't have all the pollen that you have. I'm more worried because I have freshly painted parts on here that are still relatively soft. Ah. I just want to be delicate around those. My painter told me, don't add anything to it. I'm like, don't add anything to it. Do you not know who I am? Like, what do you think I'm gonna do? Just not wash my car? Wash it with water? No. Is this safer than water? <sighs> I'm like, sir, there's gonna be polymers on this stuff by the time I leave here today.
So, Jimmy, this is a way, watch how I'm gonna do this. So I've already run over the whole top of the truck and made these long sweeping passes. Basically, I'm gonna start here, work my way across in sections. So I'm gonna do this section first, then I'm gonna come back and do the dirtiest spot. The reason for this is your dirt is gonna be worse, obviously, on the bottom of the vehicle than on the top. And with the ultra black sponge, I have enough liquid still in it, plus I have the pre-soak on there encapsulating prior to making my way down to the bottom. And with the cuts in the UBS, a lot of the stuff is lifted and pulled into it. And you can also flip the sides. Oh, I missed my mirror, I think. I think I missed my mirror. Did I not miss my mirror? You got that mirror. I got that mirror? Yes. See, this is what I mean, inefficiency. I think, did I not get that? No, I got it. So I go back, walking on this very slick floor. Now my car hasn't been corrected yet or coated, but it would make it this much faster if it was coated. Slickness really kind of helps with the coatings, but still doing pretty good. I don't know what I have on here. I think I have bead maker on here currently. It's doing a good job. Looks good. I think the silky will definitely add a, some pop to it. Now here's the other thing. When I'm doing a rinseless wash, I always typically save my side skirts for last that those get was the dirtiest, but since these are pretty new, I'm gonna knock them out while I'm here. Move into the back. Getting my hatch. I'm moving on to the top of my spoiler. You're just like narrating your I narrate, I narrate my entire life. My wife hates it. I say I'm walking to the pantry. I'm grabbing some Lay's potato chips. She's like, can you stop it? I'm like, no, that's what I do. <laughs> I, don't, yeah, I don't narrate everything because that would be <laughs> kind of strange. <laughs> can we make a cut there? No, no, okay. No, no, can't. can't, can't we cut can't there? Can't cut it. <laughs> oh, do we? Okay. Caught in four, 4K? Okay. I don't think I got my other side skirt. This is what I mean by kind of inefficiency. But. <laughs> oh, you're knocking out your wheels now. Smart. Well, all I gotta do is my roof, and I can do that with a big red sponge, and because O&R is Witter Ionic, the longer I keep those sponges in there, the more stuff gets pulled out of them. And I'm not all that worried, because I don't have a lot of debris on my wheels, it's just dirt. So.
Okay. Going after my wheels now. Following Levi's suit. So I'm throwing my creature, my black creature edgeless into my bucket. Along with my chenille mitt. You can also take your mitt out if you want to keep it from getting contaminated. Now I'm just using O and R to clean these wheels. If I were to do this complete rinseless with absolutely filthy wheels, I'll typically throw like maybe a little bit of brake buster into the mix. My creature, fold it to a comfortable feeling in the hand and then just start cleaning things up. This thing is baking for new wheels. What do you think, Jimmy? One wheel down, no barrels, just the faces. We're going to a car show, right? Nobody ever cleans their barrels at a car show. Oh, we got some bird poop up here. Good enough. Slipping and sliding around here. Levi, what's the most rush you've ever been to do a rinse list? Car show? Picking somebody up from the airport? No, like I've never been, like my rush is mostly my wife's waiting with the kids and they need to go somewhere and I was in the middle of washing the car and I didn't know they were leaving. Yep, I can actually agree with you on that one. I've been in the situation where, you know, they say, I didn't know you were washing your car. Yeah. And you're like, well, yeah, that's, I was doing this, out, this is what I've been doing out here. Okay, well. I need to go to the mall or I need to go do this. We need to leave. So how long, how much longer do you need? I don't know, 20 minutes? You don't have 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay, I need 10. <laughs> Yeah, that's about it. I really don't need a is. shower, right? It's fine. Okay. That's good enough. Now what I like to do, just as help with drying, whatever I have left in my sprayer, do a little bit more O&R. And also just a little bit extra security if I missed anything. And this is just like a fine mist I'll do on everything. That's a smart idea, Anthony. Bam, bam, bam. Cool, done. Okay, what's my timer out there? I don't know, five minutes? Five 10 minutes? No, you have almost 15 minutes left. 15 minutes, okay, so that was only 15 minutes. So 15 minutes to wash the wash process, okay. Drying now, spot cleaning, quick detailer, voice crack. Now what I'll do is I'll save all of my upper surfaces here because a lot of water is going to be dripping down. This is going to be the wettest. It's going to overly saturate my towel. So I knock out with my uh, vertical surfaces first. So I typically just start on a rear quarter, go where I sprayed, start drying in the quick detailer and the O and R. Couple sprays per panel, flip the towel as needed. Oh, that's nice and slick. Feels great. Same thing, bam, bam, bam. One lower, one on the windows. Hit my windows. The upper's there. It's just like Anthony, I'm uh, rinsing in a sense. I added some more O&R because, well, mine was a lot dirtier than yours. Yep. And I can see a lot of encapsulation all over my car. Where the polymers have encapsulated the dirt and in some senses started to dry. Yep. Now with this carbon fiber wrap I have on my hood, I saved this for last just because <laughs> It, it's a, it's such a pain. It's got like a bunch of friction to it because it's like, 
it's grippy. And um, I don't know, I don't like the way it feels on the towel, so I save it for last when the towel is nice and wet, and then kind of work it in. It smells good. What oh, smells good? The silky? Mm -hmm. You can smell it from there. Mm -hmm. And then I'll tell you, you no, know it's good. <coughs> it's smelled a mile away. Actually means nothing, but I like it. My turn. Now the hard part with vinyl, is if you leave stuff on for too long, it leaves these spots. Now, they're not water spots because this is from rain, but it's a polymer spot that's kind of in the film and you have to heat up the film again for those to disappear. So once we pull it outside, it'll warm up and a lot of these will go away. How you looking? Pretty good? Yeah. Okay, I'm slowing down just a little bit. Now you don't want to spray the whole car, but you want to get enough on each panel. That way when you're wiping, you're getting even application. Okay, so I just pretty much have my bumper and roof left. This is feeling pretty good so far. Anthony, I'm surprised you're able to keep up with me. Hi, me too. <laughs> me too. I really, honestly, I was thinking, I'm like, dude, Levi's gonna be done with it. Oh my God, he is almost done with this. That's insane. How much do you have left? Just the, the roof. roof. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my God. Cause you got that gauntlet, dude. Um, oh my God. Okay. Come on, don't let him beat me. Don't let him beat me. Okay. Oh my God, I got my windshield too. Crap, and my wheels. Did you, dry, you didn't dry your wheels yet, did you? I haven't done my wheels okay. yet. But I can if you want me to start on them. Here, where did I spray? I sprayed somewhere around here. I didn't dry any of that side, did I? I don't know, I can't remember. I can't remember now, I'm feeling rushed. That dirty rain left some nasty water spotting on my uh, vinyl. Yeah, mine too. Like it's, I have to polish it out.
Okay. All right. Hood for last here. Just kind of rub that in. I don't really add any shine to it. Just dry it. Oh my God. You're using the same towel, you monster. Well, all I got is the roof and it's super high, so no one's gonna see it. And half your windshield. Yeah, but that's all right. Oh crap, I missed my side skirts. Ah, I get so stuck in my process at home. I knew I was gonna forget something. I knew I was gonna forget that. Is my other side skirt done, Jimmy? No. Are you serious? <laughs> Okay, that's that one. Okay, I left my wheel tail back here. See what I mean? And efficiencies. Should have that on me, should have that in my pocket. Is he? Crap. On well, my last wheel. Are you serious? Yep. I'm also on my last wheel. I'm also on my last wheel. Or scrub, scrub, scrub. To be the rule, whoever sets their stuff down in the best place. <laughs> it's not bad. No way. So it's probably good now in this position. We we'll drive to the car show, hit it with a little quick detailer, yeah. touch it up, do a final wipe, but you're sweating, so am I. Yeah, I think if my door jams, nobody needs to see we those. We didn't do door jams. Didn't do door jams. My fender wells are still full of mud, but my, yeah. but my fender lips are clean. So, how, what's our time? Whew. 25 minutes. 25 Holy minutes. Cow. So rinseless wash in 25 minutes. Could we have done it faster? Probably not. I think I could have done mine faster. You probably could have done yours. Faster. I don't have any excuse on why I couldn't beat a suburban. I, I mean, don't, I don't think I could have. But other I than have, I still have some dirt in my grill. You still have some dirt in your grill. Like, yeah. Yes, the fine details aren't, you know, totally done. But the exterior of the car is clean. Yeah. And that's all that matters. Yeah. I, I'm happy. I mean, I think it looks. I mean, honestly, I'm not happy. I haven't even looked at it. I, I literally just <laughs> wiping to just get it done as fast as yeah. I can. And so that's what I'm saying though. This is now, we could drive it to the car show, pull up to the car quick show, detailing. pull out our quick detailer and some nice towels and just finish it. Okay. The majority of the work is done. Yeah. That's all that matters. Yeah, I mean, dude, it's, it's, it's the effort, that it's the 25 minutes of effort that most people don't put into Correct. before they go to a car show, right? Either that, they don't put in the effort or they put a ton of effort in and then guys like me and Levi show up with our 25 minute rinseless washes and yeah. we'll go, how does your car look so good? I spent five hours detailing mine. Yes. And I said, well, what do you use? I use five California dusters. I use these, <laughs> you I know, use, uh, four whatever. different types of soap. <laughs> four different types of soap. I use Dawn dishwashing detergent. I added a nice wax yeah. on it, you know, whatever it may be. I mean, this looks pretty killer, right? To be able to do a rinseless wash, add either a gloss enhancer, a show, show spray, a quick detailer with a gloss enhancer in there. Um, something like that, I mean, can make a big difference, but um, I don't know. I just know that we could also have done a foam wash and we could have been in this an hour if we wanted to, yeah. because we could have done pre-treating, we could have done brushes, we could have done all that. But like you said, the biggest thing is what? Maybe a little bit of dust in the grill, yeah. maybe. Maybe a couple drip lines that we can clean up with a, with a quick detailer well, once we the get biggest, there. The biggest thing that hurts paint is stuff sitting on the paint. Yeah. And so if you're removing it, that's yep. okay, like that's good. So bugs, bird poop, pollen, tree sap, all that stuff, if you're removing it frequently and if you'd be able to do this, you can do this in your garage, yeah. that helps. The yeah. other thing, in the winter, getting the salt and the road grime mm -hmm. off the paint, this yeah. is something you can do. You don't have to yeah. do the inner fender wells in the winter. Yeah. You can literally just wash the car in your garage with a nice warm yeah. bucket. So a lot of variables that you can do with O&R and that's what makes it so great. But at yeah. this point, I think we're at a good stopping point. Yeah. Well, a couple of things we didn't take into account. We didn't take into account the fill time of the buckets. True. Yeah. 
whatever. Yeah, right? The mixing four gallons in the, each mi bucket. the mixing of the O and R, right? Putting the product into our sprayers, you know, grabbing the towels and whatnot. But you know what though? Right? Do we have to set up a pressure washer? Nope. Right? Do we have to connect the hose to it? Nope. Turn on the water, make sure we have electricity or whatever the heck gas power, whatever the heck we need, right? Yep. Do we need to fill up a foam cannon? Nope. Now, do we have to do two buckets with, with soap? Well, we filled two buckets with O&R. Well, do we have to do four buckets right. with nope. soap and water for, nope. a, a, you know, for a two-bucket method? No, right? Um, I am, like, 100% sure I didn't do any marring. I didn't do any scratching. I did that the safest way I possibly could, mm -hmm. given the amount of time. And I think the biggest thing is the pre-spray beforehand. And it I think it's the heavy and, lifting. And I think it's the extra spray in the middle right before the drying process that gives me some more lubrication. Mm -hmm. it, again, it, it's like a security thing, right? Picks up any extra stuff that I may have missed with the mitt. Yeah. And then I pick it up with the drying towel safely with the added lubrication from my quick detail or show spray. Yep, exactly. So, Anyways, guys, this is Detailing Uncut. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. What's your fastest rinseless wash time? Let us know down in the comments. Could you beat Levi? Could you take him on one-on-one, -on -one, a Suburban versus whatever the heck you got? Let us know, right? I think Levi is always up for a challenge. Yeah. So with that said, if you guys enjoy the content, enjoy these types of videos, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more and stay tuned for more videos right here at The Rag Company. We'll see ya.